how should we begin fasting? Again, I don't have the time to go into that in depth now. Let me try and give you a few quick pointers here. Firstly, fasting um, doesn't necessarily mean food, though it primarily does mean food. But fasting could also be, the Bible talks about fasting from a, a marital, like a, an appropriate holy sexual relationship for a time that you might give yourself to the Lord. You could fast your cell phone. Hallelujah. Your computer time. Don't fast going to church. You can, to fast is to lay off something you enjoy, something your flesh wants, and feed the spirit. But I, I would suggest that primarily food is the way we do this. Now, I know I live in America and there are, you know, people have a Daniel fast and an Esther fast. And I, I've seen many people fast and it's like that they're, they're changing 1% of the diet. I mean, honestly, let me say this. Number one, I'm not a doctor, so, and I don't play one on the internet. So if you want to go and have a, maybe having a conversation with your doctor and seeing can you fast you know, could be a good starter there. So full disclaimer there. Number two, I would say this, for, for most people on planet Earth, again, check with the doctor or whatever, you going without food for at least a few hours is not gonna kill you. In fact, it may really, really help you. So I would suggest every Christian finds a way of going on a fast that actually takes food away and that where you only have water, um, again, if I would fast, I've been fasting for several years now where I fast every morning. That's slightly spiritual. It's probably more a health thing for me where I, I just don't want to get up. I don't want to, I don't usually start eating till around 1 p.m. every day. I don't have anything. I don't have anything caloric. So I'll have water, black coffee, black tea, sometimes apple cider vinegar, things like that, but nothing with any calories, zero calories whatsoever. So I would encourage everybody to try going on a fast, but start small. Um, I would actually really think, you know, don't decide you're gonna fast for 40 days. Why not go on a four hour fast? Why not decide, hey, you're gonna fast one morning and really seek God during that morning, yeah? Now, a few things here. I think if you're gonna fast, it's actually really good, especially at the beginning, to, to write those things down. Why are you fasting? And to make that quality decision that you're going to fast and you're not gonna give in till this kind of time. Yeah. Um, because what will happen is as soon as you start fasting, your flesh, and again, I can talk about this more, but maybe the time won't permit here. Most of the time, it's not actually our body that's the problem. Most of the time that we, when we fast and we get into this agonized, like, I can't stand it any longer, the pain. That's actually not coming from your body, your stomach, as it were, demanding food. Most of the time, that's coming from your soul, from your mind, will, and emotions, which kind of whip themselves up into this, um, like this storm. It's like a fight or flight response. And suddenly, you're, I'm so hungry, I can't stand this. It's a really interesting thing. If you get yourself into that place, and I have many, many times, go and take a walk, go and take a shower, go brush your teeth. An interesting thing to do, I learned this trick a while back and it actually really works, is take your fingers and start tapping your forehead for about 30 seconds and, and watch your fingers. Here's what's happening. When you take your mind off the fact you'd really like to eat some fresh bread or whatever and put it on something completely other, all those feelings begin to go away because they're not actually hunger, hunger, they're cravings. Okay. What else would I say is this. I would say don't determine the benefit, the efficacy, the effectiveness of a fast when you're in the fast. The bottom line is when you're in a fast, most of the time, you're not gonna feel amazing. You're not gonna be sitting there with waves of divine ecstasy flowing over you. Most of the time, if you're in a fast, like I've been fasting now for 40 hours, um, I'm feeling good, feeling great, but yeah, there's a little bit of me that my stomach's going, hey boy, we like some food, and a little bit of lack of energy, a slight background headache comes to me sometimes. I'm, I'm not feeling, this is wonderful. Here's the point, I don't judge it by my feelings, I judge it by the word of God. And if I want to judge it by my feelings, I will judge it by how I feel tomorrow when I'm in church worshiping the Lord. And suddenly I know I'm gonna like look back and go, wow, I'm spiritually feeling much better. But don't judge it by your feelings because when you fast, it would be, you know, it's like exercising. You can always talk yourself out of it. So I would say begin in a small way. 
I think sometimes it's good to have a fasting buddy, maybe make yourself accountable. You know, do a deal with somebody that says, hey, we're gonna fast in the morning, we will not eat till one o'clock or whatever, and, and keep each other accountable that way, because sometimes if you know somebody else is gonna check or they're gonna ask, you won't give in. So that could be useful. Begin. Let me give you one last thought and I'll finish with this one. But Jesus talks about the Pharisees fasting in public and, you know, declaring it on social media. I'm fasting today. Aren't I wonderful? Jesus said, you've had your reward. But then he speaks about a correct way of fasting where you go in, you shut the door, you take a shower, you, you, you put her jelly in, whatever that might be. The, the point he's making is you don't try to extract a horizontal reward from fasting. You you extract a reward and Jesus says your father who sees in secret will reward you openly now sometimes we'll fast just because we love Jesus and God will reward us there but there are times we can actually name the reward we can say Lord this is the reward I'm fasting for and I'm going to fast and spend time with you and I want that I'm looking for this specific reward in my life so think about praying Lord what's the why of the fast and I encourage you uh, many great books. Derek Prince wrote a great book on this. Others um, begin, have a go, but don't don't worry if you feel dreadful or if you're not full of ecstasy in the moment. Boom.